Hi, you're 11 Advanced. We've got a homework question requested. It's exercise 203, question 7a. And the question says, use the definition of absolute value to write each question without the absolute value signs. Now the definition, what is the definition of, of absolute value? Well, absolute value of x is equal to x, if x is bigger than or equal to zero, and it's equal to minus x if x is less than zero. Now that is the definition. Okay, so now this x could be anything. Okay, so I could, I could put um, an a there. An a. Because it just represents a number. Right, the reason I put an a there is because I, I don't want to get mixed up with uh, this. Now, all I've got to do is I just have to replace the a with x plus 5. Okay, so uh, absolute value of x plus 5 equals x plus 5 if x plus 5 is bigger than or equal to 0. And it's equal to minus brackets x plus 5 if x plus 5 is less than 0. Now there you go, that's, that's pretty much the answer. Um, now, in the back of the book, they will tidy this up a little bit. So in the back of the book, they'll say, well look, x plus 5 bigger than or equal to 0, really, is x bigger than or equal to negative 5. And here, this one here, they'll say, x is less than minus 5. Right, and here possibly they might say, well, that's minus x minus 5. Alright, so in the end, in the textbook, they may write this down absolute value of x plus 5 equals x plus 5 if x is bigger than or equal to negative 5, and that's equal to minus x minus 5 if x is less than minus 5. Okay, so all we did is replace the a with the x plus 5 from the question into the definition. Right, this is your definition. Okay, right, I'll do another one. So what about part C? Right, um, part C is absolute value of a plus 4. Okay. Now, from the definition, this is equal to a plus 4 if a plus 4 is bigger than or equal to 0, because it's a positive case, and it's equal to minus a plus 4 if a plus 4 is less than 0. All I've done is I've replaced that letter with a plus 4 in the definition. That's all I've done. Okay, now we can tidy this up a little bit. I can say so therefore modulus of a plus 4 is equal to a plus 4 if, now this a plus 4 bigger than or equal to 0 is the same as a bigger than or equal to negative 4, and then equal to minus a minus 4 if a, now this part here is the same as a less than negative 4. So that's your final answer, okay, for part C. I'll do, I'll do another one, let's say we did, um, let's do D, okay, so D, now part D, it uh, has modulus of 2y minus 6, now we're going to do exactly the same thing, just to replace the a with 2y minus 6. So we're going to get, therefore, uh, modulus of 2y minus 6 is equal to 2y minus 6 if 2y minus 6 is bigger than or equal to 0, and it's equal to minus 2y minus 6 if 2y minus 6 is less than 0. All I've done is replace the a with 2y minus 6 in the definition. 
Now we can tighten it up a little bit. Now, uh, what will that be? I'll get modulus of 2y minus 6 equals 2y minus 6 if... Now, this, how can I tighten that up? Well, 2y is bigger than or equal to 6, so y is bigger than or equal to 3, so that means I can write that down there. And how can I tidy this up? Okay, that's 2y less than 6, y is less than 3, so that means I can write that equals. Now, minus, if spanning those brackets, I'm going to get 2y plus 6 if y is less than 3. Okay, so have a go at the rest of the questions for number 7. And the other, the other request was for question 10. Question 10, simplify. x minus 2 over modulus of x minus 2. And state which value X, uh, X cannot be. Okay, well straight away, if you look at this, X cannot be 2 because you've got a zero denominator. Okay, so I'll just say X cannot be 2, right? Because you'll get 2 minus 2 is 0 and you've got a 0 in the denominator. Any time you divide by 0, it's undefined. Now, let's think about this. Um, we've got to change this. To, uh, we've got to remove the absolute value sign. So we're going to say the absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 if x minus 2 is bigger than 0. Okay? So therefore I can say um, x minus 2 over the absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 on x minus 2 if x is bigger than 2, right? This here is the same as this. Now, that's equal to 1, isn't it? So, your this expression here is equal to 1 if x is bigger than 2. Now, what else could I say? I could say that absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to minus x minus 2 if if um, x minus 2 is less than 0. Alright, so therefore I can say x minus 2 over the absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to x minus 2 over minus x minus 2 if x is less than 2. Okay? Now, this simplifies, doesn't it? x minus 2 and x minus 2 cancel, that's, that's 1 essentially, isn't it? That's going to simplify to negative 1. So I would say that, that which is equal to negative 1 if x is less than 2. Okay? That's question 10.